take a look at how nitrogen compounds uh, form nitric and nitrous acid, which leads to acid deposition. This is a bigger culprit of acid deposition than your sulfurous compounds because nitrogen is more common because it makes up 70% of our atmosphere. What happens when you have internal combustion engines, such as that in a car or such as that in a jet engine, the nitrogen and oxygen gas combine to make nitrous oxide. And that nitrous oxide can do a variety of different things that are pretty damaging. So the first thing that can happen here is the nitrous oxide can combine with the oxygen gas. And you have to remember with all of these reactions, all of these reactions are synthesis reactions. One of them is going to be a little bit more complex, but you don't need to really know the complexity behind it. And when I've got the nitrous oxide added to oxygen, I end up making NO2. And to make sure that that's all balanced out, I put a two out front here, two out front here, and I've got four oxygens, four oxygens. Well, what can happen with that is that the uh, nitrogen dioxide, the NO2, can react to water that's in our atmosphere, especially when it's raining, to make two things. And this is the part where you don't need to know the specifics. But what the two things that can happen here is you can get HNO2 and you can get HNO3. And so what that means is you can get nitrous acid and you can get nitric acid. So it's like a double whammy, both strong acids and in high concentrations of pH well under two. So the other thing that this nitrous oxide can do, and it's a little bit dangerous as well, is you can have your NO react with water in the atmosphere and also react with more oxygen in the atmosphere because there's plenty of it. And it can come down equilibrium favoring the right-hand side, and in combina combination, make nitrous acid on its own. We can go back and balance that, and to balance, we'd add a four here, and we'd add a two here, and we would add a four here. So you can see now, clearly, there are one, two, three, possible ways that just having a high combustion engine that synthesizes nitrogen and oxygen together, just that process could potentially make three different strong acids that can float into our atmosphere and create acid rain.